Hey YouTube, this is High Tech Gaming bringing you yet another video. This time we're going to be exploring gaming Wi-Fi adapters. This brings into question, what exactly is a gaming Wi-Fi adapter? Does this actually matter? So I set out to test this. I took my Netgear A6210 and I put it up against this old Belkin Wireless G adapter. The Belkin adapter is approximately 10 years old and only is 2.4 GHz, unlike the new Netgear one, which does both 2.4 and 5 GHz. For the sake of this test, though, the Belkin was, of course, on 2.4 GHz, and the Netgear was on 5 GHz, uh, exemplifying the best possible case uh, for performance for each of them. Both of them also were placed in a position where they got full bars, which happened to be the same spot on my desk. So, continuing on to the tests. The first test I conducted was a test that should be relatively consistent um, between both cards and will objectively show the differences between the two. This test was the speedtest.net by Okula. So I went to there and I tested each card independently. And what, as you can see what I discovered is both the cards had very similar pings and the only difference between the two that was really noticeable was within the download area. This is to be expected though because the newer Netgear card does have a much higher link speed allowing it for a much higher potential bandwidth. However, in bad internet cases like mine, it's not really going to be utilized that often. So moving on, um, I decided I should try testing this by playing some games. So I loaded up Counter-Strike Global Offensive and I joined the server that is running on my local network. So so that there's no external factors influencing the performance of the cards. After messing around a bit on the server and waiting for the ping to settle, I noticed that both of the cards produced the same ping. So this was interesting. Okay, maybe Counter-Strike wasn't that intense of a game. So I loaded up Battlefield 4. I went on to a server that had no other P players on it in order to avoid other lag-related issues like that. And what I determined was that not only did the old card perform exactly the same as the new card, but it actually had one ping less, which could be just uh, external factors influencing that. But what we have to look at is if you were wearing a blindfold, which you wouldn't be if you were gaming, but if you were, and somebody sat you in front of this computer and you played on the old Wi-Fi card or the new one, there would be no perceivable difference unless you went to download a large file. And even then, external factors such as the speed of the server you're downloading from or the internet connection itself would affect this greatly, so you could just assume, oh, well, the internet's bad here. It might not be the Wi-Fi card. So really, what I drew from this test is things like Wi-Fi cards branded as gaming Wi-Fi cards are t very useless because there really is no real-world tangible difference between the two unless your workload is 100% downloading large files. It's really up to you whether or not you think you need a gaming Wi-Fi adapter. And I know there's more gaming-oriented ones than this Netgear adapter, but ideally I would suggest just go with whatever Wi-Fi card will have speed enough to keep up with your internet connection and fits in your price range. Ideally, if you can avoid Wi-Fi, that's always the best solution as an Ethernet cable is probably cheaper than whatever Wi-Fi card you want to buy. And with that, I thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like the video, uh, comment if you have any questions or would like to suggest a future video, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, or check out some of my other videos if you like. Thank you.